A Year with Marmalade, written by Alison Reynolds and Heath McKenzie. Read to you by Miss Keating. Ella and Maddie were best friends, but one autumn day, everything changed. We're going away for a year, said Maddie. Can you please look after Marmalade? Ella cried and Marmalade yowled as Maddie's family car grew smaller and smaller in the distance. Alice scrunched and tossed the fallen leaves, but nobody tossed them back. She picked apples, but there were too many for one person to crunch. When she offered Marmalade an apple, he batted it away. She stomped through puddles, but she was the only one who got wet. One frosty winter's morning, Alla woke up with warm feet. The pond froze over and Alice sped around her skates. Shivering high up in a tree, Marmalade gazed at her with diamond eyes. The days became even colder and Alice stayed inside. Marmalade swished around Alice's legs as she read beside the fire. In spring, Alla dug up a garden bed. Marmalade scratched up the seeds and purred. Alla planted a row of flowers. Marmalade curled up on the sun-warmed earth. One morning, Alla found a huge sunflower. Come and look, Marmalade, she shouted. The cat darted out. That summer, Alla and Marmalade pedalled to the beach. They built sandcastles bigger than Marmalade. Alla swam, my Marmalade minded the clothes. Autumn returned, and so did Maddie. Alla, Maddie and Marmalade scrunched through fallen leaves and splashed through puddles all the way home. Alla's dad built a special cat flap between Alla and Maddie's homes. It was just big enough for Marmalade. And Alla and Maddie. Thank you.